All right, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> it, it's another exciting video for me because we're talking about food, which is probably my favorite thing on this planet. I mean, if you couldn't tell from my my triple chin I have down here. And today's food we're talking about is the top 10 famous traditional Italian dishes. We've done Germany. We've done New Zealand. I think we know pasta and pizza are going to be on here because that's just, when you think of it, that's what you think of. And, and, and I'm very curious to see what else it has to offer. So without further ado, let's just hop into it and, and see and see what they say. So top 10 famous Italian dishes. Gorgeous Italy. Just known as this trial all over the back of it. Her stunning scenery, unique culture, and gastronomical delights. Mm. With I've its heard some great cuisine, things about it, man. This beautiful Mediterranean land. I've heard, sorry to stop it already. I've heard that the pizza that you get there, for one, they don't slice it. And two, you can eat like the whole thing. And it's healthier than eating a couple slices of, you know, American pizza. So I'm very curious to see what they do, what they say when they do talk about pizza on here. And offers countless famous and traditional must-eat foods. Mm. A multitude of popular Italian delicacies and dishes, mm -hmm. sweet and savory, await your discovery during your sojourns when you are in Italy. Mm. These traditional Italian dishes are deeply rooted in the Italian culture, and recipes are often passed down between generations and are cherished for their authentic origins. I love one of pizza the best pasta, ways man. to get I the true taste so of these amazing dishes is directly food. from local home chefs to me. who are passionate about cooking and sharing a slice of their culture with you. Be sure to leave ample space in your belly to tuck into these top 10 must-try dishes in Italy. Okay, let's get in. One, pasta and pizza. One should not miss out on feasting on pasta and pizza, the two iconic traditional Italian dishes during their vacation. Pasta types vary significantly depending where you go in Italy. Really? Be sure to try the regional specialties in the cities that you are visiting. If you are exploring huh. beautiful Rome... Or I really figured it would be just the, 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 you know, same pastas, you know, throughout the entire country. Order a serving of the pasta alla carbonara. Prepared with ingredients such as eggs, pecorino cheese, guancia, a type of Italian cured meat made from pork cheeks, and black pepper. When it comes to pizza, the first wow. type that comes to mind is margarita. Originating from Naples, the pizza margarita is a simple but tasty oh my dish. Gosh, dude. Order this popular item from the local pizzeria, and you can expect that looks to be incredible. served with a crispy, thin crust pizza topped with olive oil, garlic, basil, tomatoes, mozzarella, and parmesan cheese. Two, Arancini. Question, sorry to keep pausing it. Question, my Italian friends out there. Do we not put like pepperonis and stuff on pizza? Is that literally just an American thing? Or I mean, I, I assume you put like sausage and stuff on there, but if I was a good Italy, would they put pepperoni on if I'd ask them to? Crisp and golden brown. Arancini refers to a dish of stuffed rice balls. The rice balls are fried after being coated in a dusting of crunchy breadcrumbs. These rice balls are usually filled with ragu, Ooh. tomato sauce, mozzarella, and peas. Similar peas? to pasta and pizza dishes in Italy, That's different there are a peas. diversity of regional variations of the arancini. The regional specialties are made with different fillings and shapes depending on the location that the dish is prepared in. 3. Lasagna Believed to have originated from the city that of doesn't Naples, qualify as pasta? this well-loved and yet another classic Italian dish is made by baking sheets of lasagna pasta layered with cheese, ground meat, vegetables, and different varieties of sauces, such as the ragu, bechamel, or tomato sauce. This dish should definitely mm. not be missed out on if you I want love to me have some a lasagna. taste of true Italian pasta. cuisine. Yeah. 4. Oh so buco alla milanese. Meat lovers will rejoice at the thought of tucking into the Osobude koala melanies. Tender veal shanks, braised slowly in white wine, is served with an array of vegetables. A serving of aromatic green melata, a condiment made with lemon zest, garlic and parsley, is added to complete the dish. The meal does not end when you have finished the meat and vegetables. For the best part of the dish lies in scooping out and savoring the creamy marrow from the bones of the veal. Hmm. Interesting. Prosciutto. An Italian favorite, prosciutto refers to dry cured ham, served uncooked and cut in thin slices. Yep, yep, the finest yep. and priciest prosciutto is from the central here. and yeah, we northern regions of Italy. In like Kerber, Light, and Walmart savory, stuff. and airy, the cured meat is usually served with pasta or wrapped around slices of cheese or sweet melons. That's what it is, yeah, wrapped Six. around cheese sticks. Rubulita. 
traditionally considered as Gusi la Pavara, or poor man's food, the Rubulita was created by servants who collected unfinished food, such as bread and vegetables, from their masters before boiling these items in water to make a meal. The origin of this dish gives rise to its name, which translates to mean reboiled in English. Rich and hearty, the Rubulita is regarded as one of Tuscany's most important dishes. You can try this classic Italian dish with our host Senza who serves this dish upright in the heart of Florence. 7. What are the odds that a dish that was generally back in the day looked at for peasants and poor people and nobodies would become a popular, world famous, must try dish in, in Florence? What are the odds? That's so cool. That's awesome. Salt in Baca. The dish contains thin slices of veal, topped with salty prosciutto and herb leaves. These ingredients, joined together with a toothpick, are sautéed in a pan until the meat is done. Different varieties of meat, such as chicken and mutton are also used for preparing the salt in baca. Okay. Right. A well-made serving of salt in baca promises to be a delectable dish melts away in the mouth. Highly popular among locals and travelers in Italy, this savory delight is certainly not to be missed. It looks very, very Eight. good. Gelato. Gelato. Our visit yeah. to Italy is not complete without having at I'm least sure tiram- a serving of t- smooth, tiramisu, cream tiram- gelato. Tiramisu. Travelers who say, are on I'm the sure hunt for the best versions of one. this delightful treat should check this article out for insights on where to find the best gelato in Italy. 9. Torone. Creamy and sticky, the torone is made with ingredients such as honey, egg whites, toasted nuts and citrus is est. Thick slabs of this candy are commonly found in cafes and candy stores throughout Italy. We recommend that you try the original version, as it is hard to beat. Okay. Those with a preference <laughs> for decadent treats may want to try a new variety, torone dipped in rich chocolate. 10. Tiramisu. Light and creamy. The tiramisu is a well-known dessert sought after by locals and travelers alike. with you, I, I'm not big, not big on it. Not big on it. I've had it a couple eggs, different places sugar, here, and, and just and mascarpone cheese required just not in big the preparation on it. Now, of this sweet able to go to Italy, If you visit Rome, I would try you can it, also attend again. fresh pasta and tiramisu cooking class to learn how to make homemade tiramisu. Oops! Oops! Stop. Well, I'll be honest with you. I like me some Italian food. <laughs> um, that yeah, that's exactly what I thought it would end up being. You know, it, it seems like to me, and, and my Italian friends tell me if I'm wrong. It seems like to me that a lot of it revolves around tomatoes. Um, you know, I don't want to call it lunch meat, but lunch meat. You know what I'm talking about like the prosciutto and stuff like that. Uh, pasta and pizza. It seems like it all the kind of revolves around that and you just have so many different combinations of it. And then you got these other dishes on the outside. Or the So, that's what it seems like to me. But it's an interesting stuff. You know, Italy, they're, they're world famous for their, for their cuisine. Everybody knows what it is. Everybody kind of has taken bits and pieces of it. You know what I mean? And, and um, turned it into their own. You know, I mean, we have our own Italian way here. And I'm sure everybody does around the world. So, very interesting video. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Or, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've been to Italy. What your favorite food to try there is, or you know what your favorite Italian dish that you make at home is. Um, uh, yeah, if you guys will excuse me, uh, my mind's just not in the right spot right now because all I'm thinking of is food. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna go make some lunch over here right now, and you guys have a good rest of your day.